I got another four scale helmet to unbox for you. This is the War Mask of the Morgul Lord from the Return of the King from Sideshow Weta Collectibles. It's a much bigger box than the last one. So. Um, yeah. Before I open it, like usual, let's go over the box itself. As usual, in that very nice, shiny, glossy box. Uh, I guess I could read this to you, but I guess you could also maybe like freeze frame and read it. <laughs> um, so, without uh, taking too long, let's open it. Yeah, so I, I basically. Since I got um, started uh, getting these, I, the, the, the number one thing that I could say about them is that they always look way better in person than any of the photos. I mean, I, that probably goes with, that's with most, most things, but, um, you know, it, it, I, I guess because it's, it's so much more detailed than I was imagining. Um, let's see if I can get a grip on the tape here to open this one up. Straight on here. Okay. Wow, so this is metal and sharp and pointy. Uh, be cautious, be careful. This could really hurt you. <laughs> Like squeezed it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. These are very not sharp, but I mean, it's it's a metal point, so you know it would do damage. <laughs> but wow, this is cool. Amazing. I'm really really impressed with these things. Like I, I get I guess just because you know it's it's you know not a full size helmet and it's only a four scale that I. Just maybe didn't think they were gonna be as neat as they are, but yeah, they're always really, really cool. So I mean, this is like, size compared to the other one. I mean, obviously, you know, it, it wasn't the movie, but it's, it's really cool. You got like these little you know, kind of little marks and stuff from being worn, weathering, I guess. Yeah, it's really cool. Yet again. The uh, stand here. So, apparently, on the bottom of them, wow, I guess I didn't realize that with my other ones. On the bottom says uh, the number. This is number 4,171 of 4,500. metal piece that just kind of backs stuff up. Goes on right there and then I can figure this out faster than I did the last one. Oh, maybe not that way. Ah, okay, like hooks into the eyes. I think. Is that how it goes? Hmm. Look at the photo. I can't 
can't really tell if that's how it's supposed to go. But, um, yeah, there you go. I mean, it, it stays on it, so I guess that is. And it doesn't go the other way, so I gotta assume that's how it... Oh, I guess it does go the other way. Okay, well, I guess you can kind of put it however you... Yeah, this looks better because it doesn't stick out of the eye holes anymore. Yeah, this is definitely the way it goes. Okay. Well, um, yeah. Looks really cool. Well. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> Do not drop it on your foot or anything like that, I guess. Which, you know, once you get it up in your stand or wherever you're probably going to be displaying it, probably not going to be moving around. I guess, you know, if you live in an earthquake prone area, don't put it, you know, over your head or anything. <laughs> but yeah, this is really cool. Up this a little bit. There we go. So yeah, the uh, War Mask of the Mortal Lord. I guess while I kind of hold it, I can kind of read what's on the back of the, the box here. Let me just hold it down the stand. It's a little more stable. Um, so, charged by his master Sauron with overseeing the sack of Gondor, the Witch King of Angmar prepares for the war in his fortress of Minas Morgul. Upon his head, his pale attendants place his frightening battle mask, a crown, and helm in one that strikes fear into the hearts of his enemies through his empty eyes. <laughs> yeah, this guy was all about his teeth, huh? Oh no, sorry, that's the mouth of Sauron. I'm thinking of the wrong guy. <laughs> but yeah, really cool, yet again. So. I guess count on more. I'm very impressed. Till next time. Bye bye.